Jummy does indeed lead the pack. He gets a good launch off the line, and everyone is slotting now nicely in the place under the racing line. We're seeing them getting a reasonably clean start so far, looking down. Keep on, but oh, but the who's this here? It's the McLaren of derogatory pineapple pop uh, wheel banging with the Red Bull of Joel, demanding that place further back. We've got the Ferrari of uh, Nico Dish, who's kind of sending it on two drivers. Notorious curbs. Did I see someone else? No, it is still just Tilda moving further back up the grid. Everyone is in, still in line. Oh, who is it's that one. Yep, one of the guys that was leading the quality session has lost his front wing, but he's still going. Uh, I'll pass over to you, Dave. Huge collision. There's got to be a safety car. There's carbon fiber flying everywhere. Was it that Alexi drive? Yes, it was. Around the fossils. Well, that's the first victim this evening. Yeah, so two of them. Pineapple's out. We got that one. Virtual safety car, not a full. You know, we, I, you know, I did kind of call it there just before we started off, Biggs. We could get a very early safety car. Virtual, it may be, but it's still a safety car nonetheless. Uh, that one is into the pits, of course. Works out perfectly to a degree for him. He had a disaster start losing that front wing. The VSC is over, and so we are back on running once again. Menovo Beaver is just within a half a second behind uh, Jammy. Gonna keep an eye on this. Oh, we're gonna yell it already. Who's we got? Who's that sector two? Oh, it getting is getting damaged. That's why the pit lane was quite busy. It's very busy at the back of this pack here at the moment. The futuristic has gained six. The man that oh, there's George around. George Ionides is around out of uh, geez, that was early. That was out of Hellas, I think. He's a hell of a time coming out. Oh. Key can't find them. I can't when they're dropping left, right, and so it was yeah. ice. Yes, ice. See ice. What I mean? He's not See ice cool anymore, mate. He's in trouble. Well, those There's tires in as well. They're all uh -huh. pitting here. They're all losing bits of their front end wing. You see, Biggs, this is what I said. It's something about this year's track. It is notoriously difficult to keep it on track. Can somebody else get a penalty? Please, please, please. But if nobody else around is getting penalties, then you're kind of pressurized to push even harder to try and not only catch them, or if you're ahead, and say the, the S version of poo. This is going to be an absolute poo show for Maryland because he's going to on these old softs with these on the back of Yami, and they're going to be exactly held up by Merlin, who has to break a little bit earlier than everybody else because his tires are absolutely straight. Barbecue to Les! Yami! Oh, go! Yami's going around! Yami, our race leader essentially, has gone around. At the moment, we got Agfar as a teammate. As teammates, both the Williams now are holding up. The McLaren is going to try to sneak it up the inside between two Williams, but that's the thing. Can you? Can you? The Williams are working together. They're going to basically become blockers. Mate. The first Williams, he's now got the second Williams in sight, but hang on a minute, what's going on behind him? Agatha and Chief are fighting as well, so uh, a futuristic, sorry, gets past uh, Agatha, but the Joes, it's much easier now for Beaver, because he's only just got uh, Merlin on those some, uh, oh, much older softs. Justin, who should be really capitalising this, he should be pushing up as best he can. Uh, of course, Menno will not wait. 10 of 29, and I think at the moment we should have a change for the lead. He's right there, he's right next to him, but no, Merlin is still holding in there as long as he possibly can, but Beaver can drive around the outside of him and gets it done finally. But he held him up for some time, didn't he? Absolutely I'll held him up. I'll tell you what, Merlin is going to especially in Melbourne. DRS will be activated, I think, next lap or after the end of this lap. So, yeah, Beaver is definitely going to be, you know... All lap, uh, fresh mediums versus... Old hard. I'm, so, I'm, I'm going to look at those soft tires right now. I'm going to show you what the graphics are for the cut tire. They're 59% at front left, mate. They're punished, but he's he's okay. He's like 59% biggles. Ah, I can do that. In my sleep. Yes, uh, oh, that car's going around. And is that Yami? Yeah, yeah we got Yami. Guys. Yami's had a bit of a, a collision with it. I was, I was just going to go, go back wrong. there for a It's going wrong, unfortunately, for the Mercedes driver. Ooh. But we'll go back to the start of the field here. The close, tight, action pack top three. I dropped Fox so, by about two seconds. Go ahead. What, what's going to happen here, Biggs, is Merlin is probably going to lose two positions. Oh, and Merlin is defending. Oh, he's going to the outside. Justin is keeping a watch and brief. Pretty straightforward move here. Now, but Justin will now want to get past Merlin. It's important that Justin gets past him. Pivotally gets past just, uh, uh, Merlin. Not holding, backing off, though. He's fighting, but he will have to have give way here for Justin. Justin's got the move done. That was pivotal for pivotal for Justin to keep this fight alive. Yami is pretty much sadly out of this race unless there's another George. Safety. George is into the wall, I think, on the last corner. So, yeah, something's happened. Come out of uh, Sarah yeah. Prost. Tires at the moment, which are still absolutely fine, of course, but not going to have that much pace. And looks like uh, Justin at the moment. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, to see if there's a safety right, car. Between now. Justin oh, and... Yeah. But it's 72%. Oh, 
That's yeah, he's gonna have to getting in Puncher territory. It is struggling for traction right now, but he's still two seconds up the road from Fox. Uh, Joel had to give up on the main straight. I think he had a bit of a spin. Oh, yeah, he's suffering from wing. Oh, and he's got no wing. So oh. Joel has lost his front wing, and he's got a long stint now around the track. Back to the pits. Yeah. Yeah, yes. as you were I didn't saying. say a bad word. <laughs> Merlin, perfectly timed for Merlin. Look at yes, this. it is. It's, of course he has to come in. This is like a cheap pit stop. But then again, everybody else ahead of him will, so that'll kind of counteract it, won't it? He won't, but then again, he won't lose all those places, will he, from that safety, safety oh. car. And safety car's in this lap. So... This is going to be 7% though, Biggs. Uh, uh, yeah. This is going to be a tall order for him to get these to the end. Oh, this is going to be fun. Right, sure. Now, there we go. Oh, and it kept the helicopter cam. I love you, Cody, sometimes. Here we go. He's got a good launch. The beaver. Definitely. And that's Justin behind. Yeah, he's gained it as well. So he's clawing his way back up here in Melbourne. A few overtakes at the back there. And that's George actually going around somewhere. That is, and uh, there's George. So, not a very good day there for the McLaren driver. He the gets the move done. We got another yellow. In sector three. Oh, who that is? That'll be, uh, oh, that will be uh, Neko Dishu. That's Neon Dice, I believe. Oh, Keep it on, Yami. He's going to bring it on Futuristic. He's like, yeah, he's like, Yami said Futuristic. He's like, mate, T Microwave, really? Really? He's got passed. But hey, man, this is just what I said. Yami is back in. He was defending on really cooked soft tires earlier. And he's got some fresh boots on now, so I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, but certainly has to try to find a way around somewhere. We've had the DRS Ooh. is activated in this lap now. Icewind's going forward on Futuristic. He's got plenty of me. I don't think Futuristic's going to fight it too much now. Futuristic kind of was just happy to let him go. Futuristic kind of knows Icewind pretty much overall got the pace on him. Uh, if Futuristic can sit here, he's going to get the DRS and he can get tugged along next to Gladiators are gladiating their way around Albert Park, that's for sure. And when you think that Snella is the multiple version of the game, because that is going to be all changed that corner. Joel further back is getting very, very close on the back there of Lavi. Action all around Albert Park. I hope you got your tickets early. But he's going to be keyboard's going on. Oh, keyboard's going Oh, keyboard. I thought he had a puncher there for a second, but yeah, our keyboard driver has uh, had a little bit of an error. He hasn't. Oh, Ocean Chief's going off the track there a little bit too to let him through. That must be a uh, an illegal yeah, overtake. Yeah. Agatha seems to run deep. Seems to be missing his break point there. So that is one to bank in your back of your mind. Yeah, we'll right? certainly be looking for a podium here. Yeah, but the problem is too, uh, Biggs, you can see that he has been deploying like a madman to get into this DRS to the point that he has nothing left. Everyone else ahead of him, like especially uh, Agatha, has just... He's hold on to just enough. Justin does enough just to defend. But uh, Merlin is basically saying, I may have this penalty, but that doesn't mean they're not going to give it out to Snelly. Snelly's going up around his inside now as well. Snella gets the move, so that one little... Oh, and he, oh. Rear, he taps the rear of Snella. He's going to now get the DRS on Snella. I think he will not hesitate. Oh, he's running deep. Oh, and he's lost he's it. Out. Merlin's lost it. He's, he's off. That's a Foster's Wall victim right there. That is a Foster's Wall victim. Will that call a safety car? Surviving Snella's got a bit Snelly. Well, he's coming out of the corner. Agatha can, can bring this one. As they go down into the sports center. Oh, there's a three-way battle as well, too, because look at that. Is you got Yelly, Agafa, Snelly, and yep, Agafa got past yeah, Snelly. Well done. I mean, he could still win this race right now, mate. He could win this race. He has time. He, he does have time. It's just he's got this this gaggle of cars in front of him. Snelly and Agafa, and then just like a Christmas tree. He's going to be on a massive attack right now. But then Yami's again, do it. Yami's got no DRS as well. He had, yeah, and Snelly, it would be like, oh, Snelly! Oh! Yeah. That's the real guy he has to pass, because if he passes Justin, he'll already be within the three seconds of Minute uh, Beaver. So he can see the race went ahead. He's just two cars ahead. Oh, Justin's three second time penalty! This is perfect for Yummy! Uh, let me see. Easy to go a little bit wide, break a little bit l later and earlier, and do some corner cutting, and then boom, FIA is going to give you three seconds. Here we go. We're on board with Yummy, Bob. Yeah, but, uh, the, the problem is that he doesn't. Is he, is he gonna send it? Oh, he's sending it on Agatha! Massive move! But the problem is, he's got no battery, so he will be dependent humongous. Uh, Beaver, but he has three second time penalty. Yami is 3.2 on my screen, so yep. just outside the P1. Oh uh, my goodness, man. It's uh, Yeah, it's absolutely oh, crazy. Set. Yeah, it's it's Beaver now. So Beaver's did Agfa. Agfa also got one as well. So yeah, it's even Stevens now for the top four. As Justin goes a little too early, the top you can see the top four drivers are all on three seconds. So now 
You have to get it done on track. And yeah, look at Yami. Can he try to get even turn one? Oh, he's going for it. So Justin didn't deploy. So Justin did not deploy there. He let that one go. In Grand Prix. Mano de Beaver is victorious. Yami's clawing his way all the way back from what would seem to be the impossible. On top step. That early predictions out there said that watch out for him. Oh, wow. Well, watch out for him exactly. He is yeah, one. you're right. You're right. Sorry, biggest cut across you there. You're right. I got did actually do a great job now. She gets the P1. Uh, I suppose thank in at help to a degree of Yami losing out. I think the Belgian would have had it. No disrespect to Beaver. He done a great drive, but yes, Beaver does get the win.